And now, it's time for another outrageous episode of Good Afternoon with Noah Martini. On this episode, the continuing struggles of men at college. What's it really like for them? It's quite simple. A fate worse than death. Bib Riz teaches you how to paint yet another happy little tree. And the exciting review of Nuclear Throne with a game developer. Has this roguelite stood the test of time? All that and more on Good Afternoon with Noah Martini. And here's your host, the only person who hasn't seen the new Invader Zim special, Noah Martini! Oh yeah, we're gonna get wild tonight. You know what we're gonna do here? Let me say it, let me say it, let me say it! We're gonna get wild. You better fasten your seatbelts. You better put your banana potassium in your bananas, cause it's gonna get wild! Woo! Yeah. So, uh, I've been thinking about college. And second of all, I've been thinking about college. And most importantly, most of all, I've been thinking about college. But college is a very nice place. I know from experience, it's a very nice place. You can do all sorts of things. You can learn. You can make friends. You can smoke some weed and and snort crack, I mean, learn. So, uh, there, but, 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 there is one thing you don't know. One, there's only one man who knows the truth about college. The dark side of college. The nasty bits. And tonight, we're going to interview him on a good afternoon with Don Martini Show. But first, let's just do a random skit so we can and get the time already. Yay! <laughs> yo, yo, Alex. Is this public access, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, hi, uh, welcome back, kiddies and kiddos. Uh, today, we're going to do an extra, uh, extraordinary painting today. Uh, now I'm gonna, today I'm gonna flash this, the colors all right on the screen so you can understand and then follow along with us. Okay, yeah, now I'm gonna take I uh, added my layer of uh, magic white to the uh, canvas, and now we're gonna take our uh, scorching orker and like and uh, vehemently apply it to the canvas. Okay, uh, now we're gonna. Okay, that's pretty, that looks pretty bad. Remember, and now we're going to take our little uh, sap green and uh, take, take a little bit of it and apply it to the uh, And we're going to make some nice trees. we will make them the stereotypical trees. Uh, if you know what a tree is like, you fall along in a... Mm, hold on. Hold on. Oh, hey, dog. What, what's up, man? Uh, what? Wait, what? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? I mean pear tree? What? <sighs> I told you arsenic wasn't allowed in the studio. Now I have to go go back up north and get better again. And it's gonna take a few months. I need. <sighs> Listen, man, I need to finish the season. <sighs> Jesus. Yolo, everybody. What's up, my fam and family? It's time and for another interview. Next up, we got our boy Reed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, thank you for having me on Nowhere. Yeah, it's good. It's good, man. It's the Gucci as always. Uh, uh, thank you. You too. Uh, so how's the college life for you? Uh, it's going pretty well. I'm having a lot of fun in my radio broadcasting program and doing my Riverdale podcast, trying to get more followers and subscribers. Wait. Did you say Riverdale? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. Wow, do you actually do something about Riverdale? That's like not even weird at all. I mean. The show, a part of the show that isn't, a part of this show that isn't like weird and out of whack, like, what does this world come to? 
Um, isn't isn't it supposed to be weird? Or? Uh, continue. Oh, well, anyway, I do a lot of things on that. Like, um, let me see here. Uh, top ten worst or best moments about an episode. Some of those times where you just want to rage quit. Other top tens or certain characters that are just the worst on occasion. So forth. I love top ten lists. You know what I know my top ten? Top ten what? Top ten reasons to go to commercial number ten. So... Uh, So, uh, I heard a lot about your, uh, your movies and whatnot. I am one of your biggest fans. So tell me about what, what's it like on the set? It's all right. You can take your time. How about another question? How about, uh, so you have a son, correct? Manila? From Son of Godzilla? Is he actually related to you or is this just movie been shenanigans? It's alright, you don't have to tell me anything. Right. Um, so, are you dating Mothra or anything? When I was a gamer, there was a game that I played a lot called Nuclear Throne. Now, unlike the other games I played, this one didn't get boring, because all the levels were randomly generated. Since I converted to non-gamer, I've been getting a lot of withdrawals, and I miss the aleatory nature of the game. But I uninstalled Steam, so I can't do anything about it. However, the legacy of Nuclear Throne will live on within me. You know what? Time to take back my gamer card. Turns out that getting rid of arsenic isn't as hard as you first thought, okay? Um, it seems that the radiation levels have gone back to normal. So we're gonna finish our happy little tree, yeah. And we're gonna take our uh, American in dictator orange and uh, dab it a little bit on the, uh, like this, and make the biggest sun that God has ever seen. Well, it looks like there's uh, two suns now. Uh, uh, make, make sure you stay sun safe, kids. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna let the, uh, the 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 sun rays drip down the canvas to encourage uh, photosynthesis for our trees. All right, and uh, now I'm gonna take our little uh, 
beloved my enemies crimson, and we're gonna reload the uh, thank you. That was that's enough time for that's all has time we have for today. Uh, thank you. I wanna say thank you for watching and God bless. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, hi, hi. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, oh, oh, here's an Italian guy because we're running out of ideas for skits. So, what's going on with you? Uh, we uh, fought in a war. What kind of war? Gorilla War! Oh my god, Italy must be really. Be bad because of that guerrilla war. How exactly did it start? Oh, I will explain it to you in a graphic detail. I don't know the name. It's the trust. No more the hero. 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 The that he's saying a zebra escaped from a local zoo and no one knows who owned it. So a war broke out for who owned it of the custody of the zebra. Exactly! That's exactly what happened! Oh my god, do you have any ideas about uh, who owned the zebra? Uh, no, I think it was somebody from the west side of Italy. But uh, people don't remember which side is the west or which one is the east. Okay, uh, so they killed it? No! It makes good spaghetti! Oh wow, well, we need to see some action! I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know. You don't know where it is? Mm, yes, exactly. I don't know where it is. Uh, well, I hope you find it and do action. See ya! Bye! <laughs> that was fun! He just ran out the door. Hey everybody, it's me! Today's trailer is the new Uzumaki miniseries, coming to Tsunami in January 2020. Wow, it looks scarier. Scarier than my parents during their divorce. Wow, amazing! So this miniseries will be produced by Studio... Ghibli? No, it wasn't Ghibli. Um, hold on. Production IG. Wow. I don't, I've never heard of that company before, but I hope it's as good as David Productions. Yeah, quality animation. Yeah, and lots of cool effects. Stand no power. I mean, it's all gonna be in black and white, but I'm pretty sure that's just to remain faithful to the manga. Yeah, manga is always in black and white. Well, yeah, you have a point. And I think the black and white makes it very eerie. Spooky! <laughs> and also, the music is from one of my favorite musicians. Who? Colin Stetson! Yay! On bass saxophone! Yay! I used to play saxophone in my elementary school band for the stupidest of reasons. What happened? I chose it because it has the most keys. And I know every elementary school music student loves an instrument with a lot of keys and buttons. Yay! Yay! We give this trailer a 10! A 10 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. Trailer reviewers gave it 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10, a 10 out of 10. Best trailer in the world, 10 out of 10. Oh yeah! <laughs>